Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm Dan. This is season three, round three. I'm playing Project X by Dom, submitted by Sam. MTGOTickets.com. Check them out. They are the sponsor of the Pauper Gauntlet. And I want them to be the sponsor of the Pauper Gauntlet again. So make them feel it's worth their while. Project X is a combo deck. It's a green-black combo deck. And uh, I'm playing against Thane Krios 992. Let's do this. Let's play against Thane Krios. I have stuff and lands. This is a lot of lands and not a lot of stuff. It's a questionable keep at best, but I don't think this deck mulligans very well. So I'm going to keep it. And I run into Scoured Barons. I am immediately thinking Pestilence. Uh, get a green mana. I have Obs and Rhystic Tron stops and Snow Go stops. It's Orso Kitty, the famous legendary deck. So I'm getting a green mana here. And I am thinking if I can outvalue him. I still think it's Nest Invader here. Got the Carrion Feeder. Why do we even play Nest Invader? I am not sure. Well, Carrion Feeder is a lot better than the Bloodflow Connoisseur. Sky Fisher. And I guess we'll just kill Sky Fisher immediately. I can even sacrifice this guy for mana. Do I want to sacrifice him for power instead? Probably. So, carry on feeder. Eat this guy. Tragic slip him. And swing. So now I am a mediocre creature deck. Until I can find my combos. He will just grind old fashioned value. But I have a kill if I can find it. That is just fantastic. Oh, how I wish I found something that I could sacrifice. But I'm gonna play the Blood Flu Connoisseur. I'm gonna sacrifice it to trade with the Sky Fisher. That didn't happen, and I probably need. I have a stop in his in my own block step. Then with this deck, that's tricksy resetting the stops all the time. He's going. To, oh, I know this deck. Bleak Cavern Vampires is going to show up. Now I really need an outlet. Or a sac sacrifice fodder. Another connoisseur. Still the same deal. Now he might have a bolt up. Which is a nice two for one for him, but I have to go for it and I don't think these connoisseurs are very good. And I'll sacrifice the other one to get rid of Skyfish. And then I lost all my sacrifice outlets. Oh my god, I misplayed that horribly! Wow. Yeah, that's not the way it works. I have to sacrifice everything. 
sorry about that. And here are the bleak cavern vampires and this game is just gone. And I think it would be going, gone even if I had those vampires. I think they are super weak, I might be underestimating them. Yeah, I'm just drawing lands. I forgot to... Or did I draw it as that? Yeah, I'm just tilting. I've been playing five poker matches in a row to get in the games in the four weeks I promised. Yeah, at least now I don't have any tough decisions. Okay, do we have a sideboard plan for Martyr Kitty? Delver fins, livers, white weenie. I have one for Boris Kitty and I'll probably use that. Getting an extra extra creature removal and uh, Essence Warden seems to make sense. Can't kill me next turn. Wow, Nest Invader is weak. Okay, now I can actually block. I can double block the vampires. Take seven. Or block the angler with, but he's not attacking that way. I should definitely have kept one of my sacrifice outlet alive, alive so I could win with that. But now I'm just gonna die. Okay, that was ugly. Let's sideboard and try to win. Taking out an A Ivy Lane Denison. And a blood I'm gonna take out two blood flow connoisseurs. I want my Denison in. A nest invader and a herald. Okay. Putting in tragic slip, diabolic edict, diabolic edict, essence warden. Okay, and we need the Ivy Land Denison for the combo, and the Ivy Land Denison does something in itself, whereas the Blood for Connoisseur doesn't. So now we have six ways of finding, no, we only have five ways. I need the Denison in the deck. But this is probably a really hard match. Though he can't easily stop the combo. So what happens here? Carry on feeder. Into Bequeathal. Yeah, I think that's a keep. And I will start with the Carrion Feeder immediately. And he will Galvanic Blast it immediately. Fortunately, I have another one, but if that dies, it will be sad. So let's put Bequeathal on it. Making pretty sure that it doesn't die. So now I need to find safe old delete, and then I have it. But he just needs to get rid of one of the parts of the combo. Putri Leech. Karen Fiddy can sacrifice itself, which will be useful if it's targeted by Journey to Nowhere or something. So we eat that guy. Wow, well, this Ivy Lane Denison is gonna have a giant target on his forehead.
six cards in his hand. What? Please give me something to sacrifice. Elvish Herder would be the ideal draw here. So I guess I can just... What about taking the trade? No, I need the sacrifice outlet. Wow, he gives me... Very nice. Okay, I think I need to play brilliantly to have any chance here. Getting a green mana. So I play slightly more green cards. Uh oh. The bolt he needed. Well, there's my tragic slip. I know he has a bolt here. But I still get the counter on the carrion feeder if he does it, so I'm going to do it. Wow, he just... he must have a hand shock full of burn. I wonder if he knows the combo. We're close now. I don't see how we can side without the Herald. Seems bad. Because Herald is the card we want to draw now. Now we just, we just win with... Save for the late. Or can he respond to it? Of course he can respond to it. By killing the carrion feeder. Mortuary Meyer finds Skyfisher, I bet. Yes. Clean talk. And Shane is Edict, and I have to give up the Pewter Leech. Because it's isn't needed for the combo. And I think the combo is what will help me win. Not the combo. Any green creature would have been sweeter. And now I have nothing, and he has four cards, of which one is Core Skyfisher that will draw him more cards. He's grinding me out here. He is grinding me out. Horrible evil vampires. He can also flashback Shane and Shedict any time. I don't think he has realized that he has realized the danger or maybe he has and just keeps a bolt ready. No he hasn't. Now I can just combo him out as well. Or can I? He can still block. Getting a swamp. God! Yes, there, there might be a small chance that he plays Chittering Rats, but I'm just getting outvalued here. I 
And maybe I put Bequeathal on the wrong creature, but I think Karen Feeder would have been dead by now. I think he's unaware of the combo. And I'm gonna let him attack me. Oh god, I need to find the combo now. But even if I do... Why am I not playing Rancor? Didn't this deck play Rancor? Okay, what happens now when I find the combo? I still die next turn. I find Tragic Slip. And I'm gonna have to do something now or otherwise I will just fade. So I will sacrifice the Carrion Feeder to itself to draw the cards and enable this tragic slip. But that didn't do a whole lot. And I am now doomed. I have to jump block. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, this was rough. Mordor Kitty, quality deck. But these were not the best draws out of Project X either. And we're dead. Okay, now I've been playing too much Pauper in too short a time. Uh, Project X dies to Mardu Kitty crushing the feet. And 55 decks remain in the Pauper Gauntlet. Yeah, thank you for watching.